Hi everyone, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this video, we're going to take a look at a little piece of gear that can be very helpful. I think most of you, at sooner or later, reach the point that, that you're going to need this little piece of gear. What is it? What am I talking about? Let's take a look, guys. Go! Okay, so if you ever needed more inputs in your power amplifier, in your receiver, in your preamp, depending how your setup is, uh, more RCA or even balanced inputs for all your gear. I mean, we have lots of stuff and it grows more and more, I think. Uh, if you already put if you, um, a turntable, a CD player, perhaps um, a cassette deck, um other other things like a blu-ray player a dvd player um perhaps a portable uh one of these portable loudspeakers i've shown you here's a link so when you start buying all these pieces of gear in the end you rapidly run out of inputs in your amplifier usually your amplifier or your preamp so how can we solve this issue uh, absolutely do not buy another amplifier that's not the solution the solution is a passive switch. What is a passive switch? Well, here's a good example. I'm going to show you two examples which I, which I suggest you, but there are obviously other types. This is a Dynavox Aux S. You're going to find the links in the video description here below. Um, when um, you need to add m more inputs to your amplifier, you're going to need something like this, which is passive, which simply means it does not have any kind of po power source. It just receives your signal and you route it out towards uh, something some, somewhere else, obviously. You have to select the input and here you're going to have the output. So here you're going to add like one, two, three, four, five inputs to your, um, to your amplifier, which usually don't come with that many inputs actually. Um, there's one problem uh, I see here. Now, this is a good quality. And if you do not have any um, intention to record, or perhaps you already have an output in your amplifier, in your receiver, then you do not need another output. Because obviously, you're going to use this output to go in one of the inputs of your amplifier. So you're going to use an input in, of your amplifier in order to connect this to, to the amplifier. But a lot of times people obviously want to, especially now with this comeback of, of cassettes and, and reel-to-reel gear, uh, want to um, record uh, their, their music or just simply dupl duplicate their, their vinyl records, other tapes, etc onto a cassette, onto a reel-to-reel -reel, uh, tape, and so on. So then you need another output in order to send the signal to a, a piece of gear that will record that signal. Otherwise, you're going to already be jammed, closed here, because this one, as I said, is going to go to your amplifier. So remember this when you want to buy something like this. Uh, in, my, in my old amplifier, I had a, um, a fantastic... All, all sorts of outputs to record on tape but now with my new piece of gear I do not have that so I had to buy something else and since I was doing that I did a little upgrade and I found this little jewel here um this is the LR1 uh, audio router they call it from Sugar Maple from Maple Tree Audio Design and this is Canadian. I got this from Canada. It ain't cheap. And um, the quality is very good. Plus, the good thing of this is that it's custom built. You tell them how many inputs you would like. So, for example, <laughs> as you can see, I asked for several. Eight, I think, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight. Plus two outputs. So, one can go to the receiver, the amplifier, and one can go, for example... To a cassette recorder, I am a reel-to-reel -reel, um, uh, 
recorder, and, and so on. So always think about that. Plus, since you are doing that and you have high quality pieces of gear, remember to care about quality. Um, as you can see, this is all gold plated. It's important to have good quality connectors because usually this does go uh, under a lot of work. I mean, you're gonna plug and unplug, plug and unplug. So you really need to have good quality connectors, which are nice and firm and stable, not just peeping out and they're connected to a board inside. You know what I mean? At that point, after a while, the plastic is gonna melt, it's gonna become brittle, it's gonna break. So you need something nice and sturdy like this. Even this one is very good. As you can see, very high quality connectors, nice and screwed there. These are fantastic. The only problem, as I said, there's only one um, uh, output. Plus, the good thing of this, if you're interested, is that you can do the pro version, which has balanced um, uh, outputs. So you can connect XLR cables to your uh, professional equipment. Um, this is a very special uh, switch or, or audio router, however you want to call it, because it has high quality wires inside. They're uh, silver plated. They have Teflon insulation. Um, there's a lot of care in the switches. Very low resistance on both. So um, I must say th these are good quality and um, I'm going to put other links to other products here below in the video description. But there aren't that many. It's something very rare. So when you find opportunities also to do it custom like this one, I, I would grab them. Um, that's it. I mean... If you have uh, other suggestions, please tell us here in the comments because, as I said, there are not that many uh, types of, of, uh, of routers out there. Another one that I was, I was thinking about, I, I have an image there on my computer, uh, which I will, I will post here, is the TC44, which is another one which I used to have, actually, which was rather good. It only had four inputs, though, so uh, not that good. But if you just need that extra one or two, then that, that could be a good solution. So check that out as well. Okay, guys. Well, I hope this was useful. And please leave your suggestion for other types of switches. Bye, guys. Hope to see you soon.